What's up guys? This is the Royal Formula and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Poland, Lithuania. And to pick up where we left off, uh, we have started a whole new war against the French and the Swedes. Well, we didn't really start it. Um, the French started it, so we're going to take advantage of that by picking up their colonies. So we have already made a start in a bit of the Caribbean. We've managed to defeat a French force that landed at Antigua. Now we're going to go for Martinique soon after that. Um, however, we have no money, so let's hit end turn and allow everything to progress as planned. So we still want to pursue a program of spending on our economy balanced with growing our military, because we do have we have one army that's moving north towards Sweden, another army that's kind of growing near Warsaw. So as it stands, I think that's quite a nice balance. We have a that good army that's developing in Warsaw to kind of hold the line against the um, Austrians, should they come. And then we've got another army marching up from the south that's made of slightly second line troops. They're going to push north towards Sweden. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, they're up to no good. Um, but yes, I'm not sure whether... I mean, it's very tempting to sail across the Baltic Sea and just attack Stockholm. Attack Stockholm and see if we can make peace with Sweden there. Or at least secure Stockholm and Norway. Well, Christiana and Norway. I think that will be quite a nice foothold to have. We'll have a... Whoop, Portugal are going to try and defend themselves. But yeah, if we can take Scandinavia, that would be quite handy. We can leave... Sweden to just be Finland. That would work just fine. Courland is on the way back. But I think we, what we also want to do is to build some fortifications along our front line with Austria. Wait a minute. <laughs> what was that? Just skip straight on. Flying shuttle. They've gone on for seed planting drill. That's... Prefer Puddling Furnace because it's just a flat wealth upgrade and we can't actually, um, we don't have to spend any money to exercise this. It's just a flat upgrade to our um, wealth centres. So let's upgrade you to an artillery fort. Let's, thematic reasons, let's get a general to occupy the fort. You can build a fort here as well. 5,000. Which we probably want to spend on. Landing in Martinique as quickly as possible. They have no garrison. They, I think they have one troop of militia sat in Barbados, but that's fine. I'm Trinidad and a couple of upgrades. 5,000. Let's go for one of our more wealthy industry areas first. The wealthy Weaver's Cottage. 868 to go. Let's get a unit of expat infantry to grow. Just keep slowly growing this force. The Antigua's got um, some dragoons in there garrisoning it, so let's tax them. A little bit of cash. They're not sufficiently upset because we're about to oh we've got our um our dragoons are providing some good uh repression if we take martinique we'll capture an abundant yield sugar plantations that's even more resources for the markets one more turn to a new model bayonet drill then i go on to reorganize procurement that gets us all of our field marshals which would be pretty awesome the increase in upkeep kind of sucks but i just want to keep pressing down this tech tree because somewhere down here there they are winged hussars that's what i want yeah keep progressing down the <laughs> down the military research track because we want to make sure we don't miss out and we keep our we keep our military advantage both well chiefly in terms of our qualitative advantage because i don't know if we'll ever outnumber the austrians Oh, yep, there go the militia, so we can auto-resolve that. They killed way more than they ever had any right to. So we're going to keep 
recruiting more troops to reinforce on Martinique. No, not Martinique. I can't remember which way around it is. The island to the north. So the Dutch are holding off. They're holding their own against the Hanoverians, and that's pretty cool. Sweden's coming in. Sweden. Spain's coming in. Let's see what... If they can push in and attack Portugal, or will they only just suffer from misery and death? The Ottomans are continuing to scamp around. This Swedish unit we can now deal with. It's been raiding our call and protectorate for an awful long time. Ah, the French have been pushed back in New York. Awesome. Morocco is on the move, but they're probably going to attack nobody. No alliance for you, Mughal Empire. We are not interested in that one bit. Hanover's going in again to raid the farm. Venice is continuing to raid. That's okay. Hey, Colin is. I think Colin might just be moving home on their own. Barbary states have kamikazed into the Adriatic once more, maybe again. No, nope, that's a good port to raid. It provides no difference to me. New model bayonet drill. Instead, you've gone for diamond formation. No, sir. Reorganize procurement. Okay, firstly, I want to upgrade you to an artillery fort. At least the artillery forts can recruit units and they'll kind of... They'll auto, troops will automatically move to the forts. So that's pretty awesome. Gee, you rebels. Oh, yeah, the Iroquois. Fair enough. Okay, let's... Call upon some more artillery for you. Or oh, no, you... Yeah, actually, that works. We don't need any more artillery there. Can probably stand to upgrade a couple of our industrial buildings. Can we demand the surrender of Martinique? Yes, we can. City is ours. Let's repair the port. Let's recruit a sloop. I bet you don't have very good roads. Nope, there you go. Um, I might scoot a unit of infantry over to Barbados just to prevent it from being easily attacked. Let's replenish our army as much as we can. Nation destroyed Westphalia, so the Dutch. Well, I'm guessing it's the Dutch. Yep. They've cleared out one of their enemies. That's pretty cool. Okay, we're not going to get any sugar from this plantation yet until we get these things repaired. Nothing is immediately viable off the bat. You're manoeuvring to the north to deal with Sweden. Troops are chasing behind. Just a little bit of extra support. The Brits are clearing out the Venetians. Well, the Venetians exacted a toll. But the Brits are chasing them down. They're not going to let them get away that easy. So hopefully the French had tied up um, enough with the Dutch on the frontier that we don't really have much of a need to fight them. I mean, in future, if they can survive long enough, I would be potentially interested to invade... <laughs> potentially interested to invade Hanover. Don't worry, Sweden. Once I, once we've cleared out, <laughs> don't worry, Poland. Once we've cleared out this Swedish unit that's running around raiding all of your territories, we'll be able to do some really good stuff. You're gonna raid? Oh, you are raiding the Ottomans. That's pretty handy. I suppose it's because they're probably war the Barbary states. If I had to guess. And over launching another attack into Dutch territory. Portuguese are advancing towards Madrid. 
God, I just love how chaotic the world is in this game. Well, Württemberg Rebels, Corland's also going home. Barbary States are getting chewed out by the Austrians. We have had a new election, but all my ministers are all pretty competent. Plus one army, plus one management, plus one treasury, but that balances, balances out. Plus one navy. You're probably good where you are. Yeah. Okay. Commercial port in Memel. Great. You're a, ooh, that means Iceland's now open for business. Oh, <laughs> okay. So they would, they got, faction got defeated and they immediately rebelled. Perhaps interesting. Okay, nineteen thousand. Create a couple of industry buildings, hop back to the Americas, because we've got a lot we can do here. Let's get the plantations up first. Followed by government spending. Then let's get you guys to continue to replenish. Get these troops to replenish, and then back here. probably do with another gun colonial light cav unit of infantry maybe just the one unit of infantry actually you know, I think you might have run out of people yeah, 205 physically can't recruit enough okay then San Jose also get cobbled roads we can move sloop over to Barbados the infantry move back to Martinique. Good stuff. 20,000 coming in. 109 loaves of sugar. One of the... Not the worst, but one of the worst performing goods on the market. When this army is replenished, we want to go take Cayenne. This could get us into a scrap with um, the Dutch at one point or another. But I think it's worth doing, certainly before we head north. Quebec's super tempting, because it's just so... The potential to develop the city is so big. But for the most part, we are doing this slowly and steadily. We're not being crazy. We are probably... Yeah, just go steady. We've got plenty of things we can spend our money on. Let's just keep boosting our economy. We don't have any immediate threats on our doorstep, so we don't have to spend lots of money on our army. Could probably stand to build up a navy at some point as well. Oh, the Austrians, yeah, they got lots of troops. I don't think they're really struggling to work out what to do. They're aware of the fact that they're boxed in. And they have very few enemies. Yep, I think to attack Ankara would be a bad decision. I suppose I should try and make peace with the Dutch, with the, not with the Dutch, make peace with the Ottomans again. It's not in our interest to try to fight them. At least not right now. Not with a belligerent Sweden and a French empire to exploit in the Americas. It's not going to be the best idea. Portuguese are moving back, but hopefully that's from retreating from victory rather than being defeated on the battlefield. That's right, Colin. Get home quick. You can blockade that port as much as you like. Not the Venice. That's our trade. 20,000. Okay, 
basic roads in Martinique. Sink money into the colonies. On the assumption that it'll it'll be worth more in future. Okay, let's get iron workshops. Because they're actually quite cheap. Do you have anyone else following you? You do. Okay, let's just group them together. We haven't got to worry about dealing with the Swede right now. Oh, I can't actually attack them. Oh, because it's not my... Um, I can't actually attack it because it's not... It's an allied um, building. Okay, so here we're going to get... Four units of line, then that'll do. 1700. We can upgrade another craft work uh, smiths if we've got one. Um, if not. And there we go. Craft workshop. Great. Although we do have some more government buildings we need to upgrade in Athens. Okay, right. 19,000. We're not necessarily growing our economy that much, but it's probably because we are boosting our army at the same time. So it's it works out in the end. We've got a stronger army. Although I may make a strategic priority. Uh, the research of artillery technologies. Yeah, the Ottomans are... Oh, I thought they were redeploying, but no. There we go. Auto resolve you. Excellent. Now Colin can try and rebuild some of their empire. Um, yes, that works well for me. I think we're trading with both sides in this war, with the Marathas and the Mughals. We just want to make money. If Hanover t Hanover's taken Cologne, awesome. Oh yeah, I forgot Hanover's my ally. <laughs> Maybe that talk of invading them was somewhat premature. There we go, Colin's immediately repairing all their buildings. Twenty one thousand. Brody in Galicia. Get the craft workshop. New national, new nation arises. Hessen. Ooh. Indifferent. Ah, oh, too bad. Cool. New port emerges. Heracleon in Greece. Excellent. Let's get a shipyard. Let's recruit a militia unit to be shipped over there to garrison the port. So we've got Puddling Furnace, now we're on to Seed Planting Drill. We've got Separation of Powers and we've gone on to Rights of Man. So the Philosophical Technology, that's fine. Um, you, on the other hand... Let's go for Carcass Shot. Let's move down that artillery tree. Okay, you've got one a unit of lancers, a unit of light cavalry. You want one heavy cavalry and then one unit of infantry. Oh, lance cavalry. Okay, it's got a unit of Trabant cavalry, then one unit of bog standard infantry. And this army is done. Okay, this army is going to hold near Memel. Okay, let's upgrade the dockyard. Upgrade the opera house. Upgrade you to an opera house. 
Awesome. Okay. So let's take you, you, and you. Actually, no. Don't don't get on board. You guys can just jump out. Let's get you down to Cayenne. Oh no, a French fleet. What will we do? Yikes. We might actually get caught out here. Sail to the America. Oh no. Sail to Europe. <laughs> then come back. We can at least run a Dragoon unit to, to Guadeloupe. Okay, manufacturing owner for that ship. Yeah, we've got a couple of I mean, some quite elite units there, but I don't know how badly they're badly depleted they are. I start to maybe build up some garrisons here. Large enemy concentration at Finland. Somewhat to be expected. The French are being mopped up. That's right, Spain. Clear up our trade lanes. Nothing to see here. Oh, I said I would try and make peace with the Ottomans, and I still didn't. Something to do next episode. Yeah, the Marathos, I think, have got this one in the bag. I mean, they usually do win the Indian Civil War, but sometimes the Mughals pull it out of the bag. Morocco is continuing to raid. Yeah, no, Mughals, no alliance with you. Everything seems to be going quite nicely. Corlin's garrisoning their port. Everything is looking pretty good for us. Okay, 19,000. Let's get this government building built. Guadeloupe, get a sloop. Don't necessarily worry about the low yield sugar, sugar plantation. They're still replenishing. Got a couple more of these of these industry upgrades. I mean, I might stock up on a bit of militia just to kind of. I mean, just to just to act as a little bit of a defence, a bit of a deterrent. Let's run you over to Stockholm. I mean, there's almost certainly no point in doing that, but what the hell. 6,900. Okay, let's back Germany. Pretty sure there might be all of our towns upgraded, which is pretty nice. Again, this is kind of sucky, but not a huge problem. Okay, let's upgrade the abundant yield sugar warehouse. Yeah, some of our exports are just not being exported anyway, but that's why you're upgrading the port. Cool. 379. There hasn't really been that much action, so let's attack Emery Basset in Cayenne and secure this territory for the Polish Empire. So this is the only spice production outside of India and the West Indies. So it's literally the only... <laughs> The only territory that's not a trade zone or in India where you can produce spice. So this is going to immediately be a very, very important territory to hold. Spice is worth a good amount of cash, which we will put to good use. Our mighty colonial force. 
my militia together on one flank. Buccaneers backed up with pikes on the other. Lancers. Light cavalry. My general watching stoically from the high ground. Unless, of course, the enemy elects to just sit in the town. Do something like that, I think. It's the order of the day. All of my cavalry just hunker down on the right. Is military actually even shooting? They want to engage the target inside the town, but they can't actually see it. The green jacketed gunners. Good hit, sir. Native War Auxiliary are advancing up to us. Charging my lancers just to catch them unawares. Commit my melee infantry into the fight. Down there looking at him. So my infantry is, is open fire. Oh, they've been shattered. And my militia bring around the flank. Push up the troops. Okay, these guys that aren't the cavalry. Bayonet charge. White cavalry push the flank aggressively. Pikemen charge the general's bodyguard. Buccaneers just try run somewhere into the melee. Lancers are moving in. I can hear, charge the general if you let, if you if you can get him. He just got smacked. Oh, there's the general. Got him. Attack the thirty fifth. Artillery is opening fire on the eighth. Go on, Mon General. Everybody except my cavalry, get out of the way. My brave general is going to charge in. You guys cease fire. Everyone cease fire. Let us farm the kills. Especially this light cavalry, it's their first action. They got some experience to get. General can also pick off colonial militia. My lancers, just see if they can get that precious fifth experience chevron. I don't think there's necessarily anything particularly special about the fifth. Um, <laughs> it's just one more than I've got. Okay, you guys, 
group together, help your general pick out the enemy infantry. Bad luck. They all, all these forces will be destroyed anyway once the battle is over. But you know, just see. I just really want my first lancers to get to five, five experience um, chevrons. I do love veteran units. Awesome. Now let's use my lancers to push the ships out of port. Excellent. We can repair the government building. You guys can try and replenish. And then we've got a low yield sp uh, spice plantation. 19 pounds of spices. Not very many, but we're going to try and boost production. Although it is a low yield spice plantation. Okay, let's hit end turn. Yeah, there comes some of our garrison units that are moving <laughs> moving uh, to the bottlenecks in the Carpathian Mountains. I mean, I would like Iceland, but I don't think we want to move on Iceland until we can take, until we move on to Sweden. Okay, moguls. Looks like everything. Well, ultimately, since we've knocked out the, um, the core of the, the Ottoman state in the Balkans, this has gone. This cam, this whole campaign has just gone real nice. Okay, upgrade the Weaver's Cottage. You turn back around to the Americas. Get back. Get back there, sir. Okay. So I do like putting um, land units into military dockyards just because it means I can move fleets in and out at full capacity rather than sending you know, one just one less than what I could possibly send. Public servant dies. Blast. Okay, don't get the new dockyard. Must resist cobbled roads. You still export. You are exporting all your sugar for now. Okay, let's upgrade the spice plantation. Let's upgrade basic roads and the governor's residence. Plus, get this gold mine built. Literally a gold mine. Then let's keep punishing. Ultimately, we may come a cropper. Oh, there we go. The Polish Trabant Cavalry. This is a really good army at full strength. So now this chap can sail up towards Stockholm. The city is undefended. Deposit Stanislav's army off of the peninsula in the woodland. The march on the city. We will be laying siege tricks. We don't have a an army really to um, attack the city. Although they are a full, they're not. They're only a half strength. It's possible. I wonder if that will open up trade with the Danish. I wonder if Hessen. I mean, trading with the Dutch. So I suppose they're part of the. They're going to be part of the Dutch Axis, I suppose they are Protestant. Although Hanover's Protestant. Gendarmerie, Lanvers Militia. Hmm. So we are cranking through a lot of turns right now, but I think it's just because we've got an awful, we've got a very developed economy. At some point, the Ottomans are going to attack us. 
yeah, we've got a very developed economy, and effectively the things we can spend money on is still significantly um, overmatched by our funds available. So we still have to be a bit specific, but just keep our investments going, keep them solid. Okay, so I may put the city under siege because they have garrisoned it with some decent troops. So just hold the line, get my militia, get my um, spy down here to try to be kind of useful. New town emerges in Romelia. There you go, have a some industry. Wineries. I mean, wineries and farms aren't super necessary. So you've got reorganised procurement. Instead, get on. Okay, you need to get the next military building. So let's get an army board. You build a gunnery school. Just keep the... Just keep the growth going. Let's have an opera house. Let's go to government chamber, government council, and let's get an observatory down here. Let's go over a little old room school as well. Cool. Oh, we could probably do with better roads in Istanbul as well. Crew of militia just stand outside. We are actually massing in quite large numbers now, actually. So that could be valuable. Okay, I may push these troops forward to the ports. Okay, good. Then when this area is secured, we're going to sail up and attack Quebec, probably. That will be a very good staging ground for our invasion. Ooh, Catholic missionary. Superb. You're not going to stay in Berlin. You're going to move to Gdansk. Because we have no church school and Protestantism is still rife. Okay, a few more areas still need roads. You're not going to go after diamond formation. Instead, you are going to go after... Punch card loom, I suppose. I think really, we've got all the technology we must need. I think our farm technology is adequate enough that we don't necessarily need to go down that route for a while. So that's the, the fleet from the Caribbean has bled back to the homeland. Again, I've still forgotten to make peace with the Ottomans. Not that it's really mattering at the moment. Although they're going to send an agent to come and steal my technology. Ooh, the garrison at Stockholm is sallying out. Perfect. Let's send them scuttling back into the city. So we have a... We have limited artillery firepower. And that's just fine. We have fire by rank. We are able to put out a huge amount of damage with our infantry. Uh, we could attempt to try and push forward and be a bit more aggressive, but you know, just let them push out and let them try and uh, just let them try and push out and defeat our besieging forces. It's not going to work, especially when we have a handy dandy bit of high ground like this. Although. It is just easier. I mean, this is still a reasonable ridge. Although we want to be a bit further forward. Three units of infantry plus a unit of grenadiers. One, two, plus fusilier plus grenadiers. Skirmishes on the high ground, Marines on the low ground. 
few units of pikes to back them up, and a whole lot of cavalry. Way too much cavalry, really. Didn't deploy my howitzers, not that it really matters. Something like this. Yeah, not that far. Line up on the edge of the tree line. Probably want to move my hussars over to the right flank. Same with my pikes. Unlimber the artillery. Deploy you guys back ever so slightly. Save yourselves, man. Let's go to the Polish Grenadiers. They look pretty slick. Polish Marines just look like Marines. Regulars. These Pandar look the same. Creeping forward in the woods. Are you charging forward? Say, have you witnessed an opportunity? You think you've witnessed an opportunity to save. to win the war? Skirmishes in the woods. Open fire! Pikemen charge down the hill. Howitzers drop shells into the line infantry. Fall this wing back a little bit. Go on, pikemen. So these guys are, will, will kill my dragoons if I just let leave them to it. There we go. The heavy cavalry's been trapped between my dragoons and my pikes. they are shattered. Now, a lot of enemy troops advancing through the trees. It will not save them. I've got some of my best troops covering this position. Gunners by a canister shot. There we go. First shot's off. Missiles charge the militia. Rest of my cavalry push around the flank. Pikemen move up to support the attack as well. Charge! to bear against the marines. Don't worry, they're confident, they're steady, they're shaken. The rest of my lines will be doing just fine, actually, except maybe not my dragoons. Howitzers engage somebody else. Pikemen go after the heavy cavalry. My 
lancers are caught up in the battles. Let's try and get them out. Fire away. Good shot. Just a bit short. We really knocked a lot of them back. Get at the heavy cavalry in particular. Billet them. Bring my lancers back out of the fight. Charge the militia because they'll do a lot of damage if we don't deal with them. That garrison line here is dealt with. Canister, these troops are point blank range. Now it's just dropping shots close. enemy dragoons use my dragoons and my pikes to try and deal with them well, pike. We deal with their marines with their um, heavy cavalry in particular my lances are taking a real hammering dealing with these militiamen Pursue them enough to shatter them. There they are. Bring my lances back. You men may be tired. They're going to wheel right into the garrison line. Marines are gone. My garrison line's gone. Charge and file lock arm citizenry. They are also gone. Try to see if we can peel the unit of dragoons out. We've dealt with the enemy. Dealt with the enemy cavalry. Smash that unit of marines. You men get stuck in. Infantry wheel right. Lances commit here. The thin red line. Aim that garrison militia. Excellent. Hussars, get involved. Pikes, you can you're doing just fine. Charge that unit of militia, these dragoons, get over here. Excellent. Core of the enemy strength has been pushed back. General! General, get involved. I believe that's everybody. Oh, there's one unit of Infantry left. Yeah, they are broken too. Artillery cease fire. Infantry cease fire. Is that not everybody? Yes, it is. Just kill as many of them as you can. Not necessarily worried about types. Demon over here. Let's try help you actually go after the 19th Regiment. They've spread out quite nicely. But still, this is going to be quite a good victory for the Polish Empire two one okay you're chasing after that unit of militia you're gonna kill the last 
Hopefully the last of these marines. No, they fled successfully. Fair enough. Kill the foot artillery. Kill you guys. Also kill the marines. Uh, they fled. Kill the enemy. Foot artillery. They should go down pretty quick because they are just a series of horse teams. Although apparently one of ours, one of our guys died. Okay, we got him. General should be super efficient killing these guys now. We've got a lot of cavalry. Nice. So the garrison of Stockholm has just been annihilated. Got four and a half thousand down to less than 500. And they're moving an army up to Finland. Ideal. Sweden is attempting to spread Christianity into our lands. We shall not permit that. No, sir. Hanover are massing their strength again for more pushes into the Dutch territory. And they can do that, knowing their eastern flank is safe from us, their brave, glorious ally. Venice is going to raid the Ottomans. Perfect. Diplomacy. Ottomans. Peace. They want 21 grand. Counter offer everything except the money. No. Town of Lithuania. Um, you a church school as well. You chance replenish. Awesome. Okay, let's get. Gold mine built. Let's get the road upgraded. Let's get the port upgraded, rather. Let's get. I mean, I still do think the best return is just to, is just to upgrade. You know, highly developed industry. Like water mills and so on, called cloth mills and all that all that gubbins. And ports as well. Ports are great because they just constantly provide solid returns on wealth growth okay let's get a couple of these uh, church school upgrades let's go up to stanislaw we've got 2100 it's probably not enough not enough by a long shot but it'll do especially if the swedes are marching an army away from the battle oh, so many buildings more growth in the garrisons corporal and gold brecht very good general okay oh france france are bringing a colonial army to try and attack us somewhere this is why you keep all your ports full it gives you one turn to respond to whatever funkiness the AI are going to attempt to do. Ooh, we're under attack. Bruno Levenstrom is moving in to try and help out. This force is effectively out of the picture. It's all just these guys. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Poland. Cheers, everyone.